Welcome to thousands of people around the world and thanks very much for watching this virtual presentation of the X-Power 33C, also known as the Red Baron. Let's open the doors to the hall. So, the new baby is waiting just behind me, uh, the designer and project manager Christopher Jensen. It was such a relief to see his boat on the water, but was he anxious and maybe also a bit nervous? I bet he was. Let's see a short video. Uh, a great day, great situation. We are launching our boat for the first time. Uh, so it's going to be really exciting to see if everything works. Of course it does, but uh, you never know. So, yeah, great day. 41 years ago, we launched the X79 here in Hederslev. Today, we just 10 minutes ago launched the Red Baron. It's a bit chilly here today, but we're in a very, very good mood. Looking forward to the test sailing this afternoon. I now want to introduce you to the owner and chairman of the board of x Yachts, Ip Kuno. Ip, why a powerboat? I'm sure the whole world is asking, but because x Sharks, after all, is world famous for, for building sailboats. So why a powerboat? Well, we are still building sailboats and that's our main business, as you can see, and we'll see later. <coughs> but um, the sailboat business is growing slowly. We have taken market share over the last year and we are having a nice business in sailing boats. But we want to be a much bigger company and uh, the market for power boats um, is much, much bigger. And if we can get into that market, um, it'll be uh, very good for, for x -shots. Um The world is changing and ease of use is becoming more and more important. Um, you can see uh, even even large yachts are now raced, uh, single-handed or double-handed, and uh, um, ease of use is one of the things that we have uh, focused on in our sailing boats. But exactly the same with the, the power boat, it shall be uh, very easy to use, and uh, it's, it's, you just jump into the boat, you start it and off you go and two hours later you are back and have been uh, round the world almost it's, it's it's a fast boat and it's another experience so so we want to to um, have this company uh, to double its turnover in a few years and uh, that's the way to do that not that we do not want to take market share uh, still in the sailing boat area but but it will still be limited few percentage, 5%, 10% every year. This is total new business. And now I want to introduce you to CEO of x Yachts, Crane Brink Nielsen. So Crane, I'm wondering, the theme here today, I assume is mainly X-Power, obviously, and the Red Baron, obviously. But uh, you've chosen to have the beautiful X79 standing here behind you. Why is that? What we uh, were so fortunate was that one year ago uh, this uh, beautiful boat was located in the UK and it didn't look like it does right now. But uh, one of the founders, Bio Hansen, and his son actually spent a winter refurbishing this boat. And we thought it was great to have a look at this boat, which has a history of 42 years, 500 boats built and now 6,000 boats since this, uh, this day that that boat was launched and now starting a whole new era with the Red Baron. So that is why we are yeah. positioning them in the same room. For the last five years, we've been planning for this moment where we could present a boat that would live up to our visions, to our missions and to our high standards. So it's a great pleasure for me to reveal this beautiful boat. If you get one, you will have a signature boat. Here it is. <laughs> of course, it's an honor to be here together with this, uh, with this beauty. But of course, the format of today has uh, changed quite a bit. 
Uh, when we planned for this, we would have a lot of customers, the press, uh, all our partners here today. <coughs> that is not possible. But today we are all the X-Power staff members here today. So it's <coughs> different, but it's special, and we love to be here with you. We did a lot of test selling, as Torben said uh, earlier during December, and uh, it was not a big surprise. We, uh, we fell in love, uh, for sure we did. Um, and it is about the unique design of this boat, the ease of use, as Ip talked about, and then the driving pleasure. Uh, we think that things, they, they really matched. So my name is uh, Christoffer Jensen. I'm a designer and development manager for X-Power at uh, x Yards in Denmark. And uh, we have just designed the, this uh, great baby you see in the back. Uh, and we are all really proud of it and looking forward to uh, introducing it to the world. So uh, we've added the T-top to the deck. And uh, to be honest with you, first of all, is to make it look uh, great. Uh, to, act, uh, to add the character and personality to the boat. Um, but it also adds uh, a lot of good uh, practical uh, features. Uh, gives you shade from the sun, uh, gives you shelter from the rain. And uh, wherever you are in the world, you can actually uh, put on a canvas around the T-top and uh, you are really sheltered from the environment and uh, rain or whatever you are faced with. What we aim for here has uh, been a fully integrated system that's very easy to use. If you want to go for a cruise with your friends, you can buy a push on one button here, set everything on. So the system is taking care of everything you need to be concerned about and you can enjoy the sunset with your friends. So in the cockpit of our cruiser, we have added a compact uh, pantry unit where you can prepare foods and drinks as you go along. We have a burner, we have a drawer for cutlery, coffee machine, waste bin on the side. So the X-Power 33C has a large cabin area with uh, great big windows uh, from the hall side, uh, giving a lot of daylight into the room. And we have uh, added uh, exclusive materials, giving you a luxurious feeling. We have also added a spacious head with shower and toilet and a magic mirror. Yes. <laughs> we were thinking of, of what should we drink here? Should we have champagne? Uh, should we have wine? No, uh, because we are sailors, so we should have beer and we should have it from the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> well, it Thank wasn't you. planned, but, but if the chairman says so, okay. then it is like that. that. That's it. So let's start with the toast for the Baron okay. then. Yeah, toast for the Baron. For the Baron. Yeah. Blue Baron. Red Baron. <laughs> yeah. And it's labeled Red Baron. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any plans to have an X Power? Yes. I already reserved a place for it in uh, Copenhagen. So. Um, I will certainly have one the 1st of April, it will be delivered. Mm. And uh, where are you going to uh, drive it? I'm going to, I'm going to drive it on Urson, uh, but as it is a fast boat, uh, in a few hours, half a day, you, you can be in Sweden, you can be on Bornholm, uh, you can be everywhere on Sealand if you want to. So, but I'm not going to weekend over it. Uh, it's a, it's a fast boat and it'll bring me wherever I want to go, but I have a 4.6 lying waiting for me. So there'll be a little competition between the two of them. I'm sure. It'll be very difficult to, to make a choice there. But Ip is not gonna stay overnight in the boat, uh, Crane, but, but actually the boat is designed to, you can stay overnight as well. Yeah, uh, it's primarily a, a day cruiser or, or a weekender. That's what it's designed for. But there is a small cabin, which you just saw on the nice video from uh, Christophe and Nikolai. So that's possible. Hmm. How is um, x Shacks doing currently in general? Because I have heard some rumors that it's going pretty well. Yeah. Uh, 2020 was really, really exciting. Even I was just chatting about it before you came. 
uh, that uh, we started off the year making plans on uh, whoa, what is happening in the world around us. Should we be able to to kind of decrease capacity? And um, and right now we have just uh, close to closing the books uh, after a record year for for best in decades for us uh, because going going very digital in the spring that was a fast decision we took that uh, we could not see our customers which we used to so we needed to go digital very very fast and actually it turned out that over the summer when customer visited us they had configured their boat online and when they came here they were really really well prepared so we have come out really really strong uh, last year and i think it will also elaborate what that means for our company in terms of further investments mm. so cheers. cheers for a bright cheers. future <laughs>